good afternoon or evening or whenever you're watching this lovely video clip. If you missed Thursday's class, sad face, well, um, this is how you can do some makeup work so you get credit for what you're doing. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to stop by office hours between 4.40 to 4, 2.40 to 4, um, Monday through Thursday, and then from Friday from 11.30 to 12.50. Um, the video clip, once I am done recording, will go over here. Um, I just want to remind you, nonfiction is not fake, it is real, while fiction is fake. If it helps remember the NF in nonfiction and not fake, um, and just the fiction is fake, um, whatever helps you. Um, but what I want to remind you and what we've been talking about so far as we've been going into this nonfiction unit is we've been talking about how powerful nonfiction readers um, read with flexibility. And one way is that you guys choose to be fascinated in your thinking. You're thinking about things that you're learning, something that seems strange, and you're wondering the whys. You're actively engaged. And it's a choice. It's how you decide to read the text. We can also read intensely while we're also thinking. You're thinking about your notices, what you're learning. You're choosing a just right book, and you're knowing the difference between books that are just right for you and books that are tra too challenging or maybe not of interest to you. I want you to check back with predictions, just like how we were yesterday. Was I accurate? Is this different? And today what we're gonna talk about is um, notices when there's confusion and how one thing is to reread so that things become more clear. And so sometimes when we're reading, and this happens to everyone, sometimes when we're reading, it stops making sense. But I really wanna make sure that you know that it's okay that it doesn't make sense. It happens to everyone. And so a tool that you could do um, and some thinking work is to think to yourself, what is this book? What, what is this part? What is this one area? When I'm looking at this book, Mummies, and I'm wondering about the different cultures in this one paragraph, I ask myself, what is it trying to teach me? So one thing I could do is I could stop and study the whole page. So maybe even though I have the biggest confusion about this paragraph right here, I'm going to go back to this page, the top of it, and I want to start rereading and thinking about maybe what, what am I missing? They thought spirits might need things in the next life. That's why mummies were sometimes buried with weapons, jewelry, food, or even mummies' favorite pets. Okay. The next paragraph part that I got confused on is it says, Different cultures have their own way of making mummies. Some dried bodies with sand or smoke. Others use chemicals to preserve the body. So I'm thinking to myself, this has to do, I now see, with how um, mummies were actually being made and how different cultures had different ways of preserving the body, but just the same, they were doing that. Um, another thing that you can do is think about how each part of the page fits the heading. And that goes right hand in hand to my heading for this section, which is man-made mummies, which has to do with the bodies and the mummies' bodies being preserved. Um, the next step of what I can do is I can pay attention to details and to talk about it. I notice blank and, it's, and it is making me think of blank. I see and I wonder. So maybe when I'm paying attention to details, I, I notice that different cultures have a way of making mummies. And it's making me think of all of the different ways a body can be preserved. Maybe I'm wondering how, I'm wondering if there is the, a great and best way to preserve a body, maybe for smells or for keeping the body looking like a body, because that's kind of what happens when it starts decomposing. So that is one way for you to do this. For today's discussion board, or if you were in live class, um, you had the option of sharing about a time that you had to reread a text to understand. Maybe um, when something that you read didn't make sense, or how you would like to use one of these, this tool to help you in the future while you're reading. Um, so if you're in live class and you did your work and you participated that you don't need to post on here. Um, but if you did not, then yeah, go ahead, do this. If you have any questions, be sure to come to office hours and I will gladly help you get your questions answered. Hope you have a great day. Bye.